about the uh, Seth Rich, the Democratic National Committee staffer who was shot right there and allegedly robbed? Well, any kind of violence in the city is awful. I know there's a lot of things that are swirling around that I just wish we could get to the truth of what really happened here. I would hope that maybe there would be some security camera from one of the homes or something that could lead us to an honest and truth path and not a lot of speculation. What do you know about Seth Rich? Yeah, actually I'm pretty pissed off about how they put you know, because all the evidence is like, you know, it was just this, you know, a sorry incident where this guy was randomly murdered. And now to politicize that, I mean, uh, you know, you know, people are trying to, you know, turn it into something that's not. You know, and the parents themselves were like really upset. like, stop doing this. This guy, you know, was unfortunately murdered in just some random thing. It had nothing to do with politics. And for you know, all these people, step in and, you know, turn into this big, you know, political conspiracy. No I heard about it. Uh, I didn't know anything about him or anything about the incident. I just heard, you know, on the news what had happened. Why it happened, I don't know. I don't know anything about that. I don't know too much about it, just the fact that we, we live in the neighborhood and that was, you know, something that, that occurred. Uh, you know, again, we, we live about two or three blocks away from, from here. So um, d just knowing about, you know, what happened in the neighborhood is, is really kind of all that all that we know. Well, what do you think about Seth Rich and the Seth Rich murder? I'm, yeah, I'm familiar with that. He was the DNC staffer. He's the one who uh, leaked the emails to WikiLeaks. Originally, the DNC emails. It wasn't Russia that did that. It was Seth Rich. But, um... Well, that's true, so they his whole testimony. I think that, I mean, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I think that maybe that should be looked into a little bit more, but um, I think the president's done nothing wrong, and that was proven today, so I think we can move on and move forward with the agenda that the president's put forward. So you said that you think Seth Rich leaked the DNC Mainstream media is fake news. I don't care what the mainstream media says. A young man named Seth Rich was at this bar. That was a friend of mine. He was. He's a very sweet guy. Very like one of the sweetest human beings you'll ever meet. Yeah. He was really nice. And whatever like rumors are about him, they're not true. Rumors like what? Rumors that that he was um, um, with um, the Russian mafia or the Russian like um, that he had leaks. You know, with the Hillary Clinton campaign, none, none of that is true because he's just, he was just a very innocent man and he got shot and nobody knows why he got shot. How, how well did you know him? When did you guys meet? I met him, you know, like uh, maybe two, like three years before he died. He died in October, I, th I believe, July. or July. Yeah. Um, we just used to hang out and uh, like have fun and um, he was just a really nice guy. He's like bought drinks for everybody. He was just, Really nice, he would like hug you when he sees you, you know, and we talked about all kinds of stuff. He was obviously very, very liberal. Have you heard anything about the Seth Rich murder investigation? I really haven't. I really haven't heard anything about that. But, I mean, I just think, you know, the Democrats were very shady also because look how they did Bernie Sanders. And many of us that supported Bernie, we really think that if he had won, he would have won this election. Because this was a non-traditional uh, political deal. People were looking for something outside of the system. And Hillary just did not offer it. Well, Seth Rich was a Bernie Sanders supporter. And many believe that he leaked DNC image to WikiLeaks. That could have been a possibility. Yeah, that, that really could have been a possibility. Because and you know the whole old saying is that you reap what you sow. You know, so many people in the Democratic Party were against Bernie Sanders. And they were going to elect Hillary no matter what. And I believe God just stepped in and intervened and said, no, that's not going to happen.
think about the fact that there's been 10 months that have gone by and there's no suspects? Well, you know what? The, the only thing, and I don't want to sound biased about that, um, there's been a lot of, I've been here since 70. There's been a lot of murders in this neighborhood. And now all of a sudden, uh, the focus is so intense. And I'm just wondering why it hasn't been this intense all the time. I mean, the focus is so intense. When other because, people are murdered, doesn't yeah, get... Yeah, I mean, this white guy get murdered, uh, now it's just a, a big issue. People have been murdered in this neighborhood for years. A lot of suspects hasn't been found. Are they not white? Of course not. Usually black suspects? Yes, this, this neighborhood was predominantly black. I mean, within, I mean, uh, probably the last two years, it's, I mean, it's like change. I mean, the geographic of this neighborhood has changed. What are your thoughts on the fact that private investigators say the Metropolitan Police Department has been instructed by the mayor's office to stop investigating the case? Uh, I think that we just need truth. Whether that's true or not, I can't, I can't say and I don't want to add gasoline to any uh, non-truth or truth. It's just not something I know. Some people believe that he leaked DNC emails. Julian Assange believes that he, I mean, insinuated that he leaked the DNC emails. Um, and he was killed a few weeks later after all those emails were leaked. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on that? Do you think his death was politically motivated? Uh, I personally don't think so. I think it, that's all kind of a conspiracy. But, but yeah, that's just kind of my opinion, I don't think. I don't think so. Why do you think it was a conspiracy? Or is, instead of maybe being true? Um, I don't know. It's, I don't, there are a lot of details I feel like are um, just kind of made up, I guess. But, I, again, I don't know too much about the all the details, but I don't, I don't think it's a, I think it's more of a conspiracy than anything. Well, people suspect, or the rumor is, that he was upset that the DNC was rigging the election against Bernie Sanders. And so some suspect that he might have leaked the DNC emails. Julian Assange insinuated. Do you know who Julian yeah, Assange yeah, is? Yeah, the yeah. founder of WikiLeaks yeah. insinuated that he leaked the DNC emails. No, it's not true. Absolutely not true. Like, I, I've, I've talked to that guy, like, a million times, and um, uh, he he's, like, the most like most sincere like um sweet innocent guy there's no way doesn't even have a bone in his body to do anything like that i think he was framed that's my opinion the metropolitan police department and the mayor's office they all say that he was killed during a botched robbery but he was found with his credit card wallets that, yeah. necklace i don't think he was robbed i think he was killed yeah, I agree with that because, like, if you rob somebody, he had his, like, wallet and everything. So it wasn't about, uh, like, robbing him. It was about somebody who had a grudge against him or somebody who um, thought that he was doing something wrong. And he thought maybe, or she thought maybe we should terminate this guy before things get too far. What do you mean they killed him before he got too far? I think it's because he, he had access to, to some records um, because he was working with DDNC. And um, at that time, everybody was trying to shut people up about anything that, that they would know. So maybe he said something, or maybe he's as vocal as I am, where he would, you know, vocalize, um, you know, the fact that um, that there was so much Republican conspiracies going on and and so many leaks going on with the Russians and stuff. That maybe when he said that while he was drinking or something like that, people took it too far. But it was nothing more than that.